So I'll click on share your screen. Entire screen, screen to share. And now I want to change this background. I mean, I want to remove this green color exactly. I see you're working on a project in Premiere Pro and want to remove the green screen background from a video. Yes, that's right. Okay. Now, I dropped the ultra key effect onto the video clip in your timeline. Okay. What's next after the initial keying process? To refine it, try adjusting the matte cleanup and spill suppression settings under the ultra key effect. Would you like guidance on these? All right. So today in this video, I want to introduce a cool new AI product from Google under the house of AI Studio and it's called Google Gemini Live. I know what exactly is Google Gemini Live and how is it special? So think about it. Let's say you are editing a video in Premiere Pro. So basically Premiere Pro is a video editing software and now you have a footage with let's say a green screen background and you don't know how to remove that green screen from that video. Now you will open Google Stream Real Time or Gemini Live and it will have the entire content within your computer screen and you can just go ahead and ask okay Gemini how can I change the background color of this video or let's say how can I remove the background uh, from this particular video and now the AI will go ahead and guide you through all the steps and give you exact instructions as to what you have to do to remove the background and the best part it works with any apps any websites without any hiccups and that's exactly what I'm going to show you and it almost feels like you're talking to a real friend and it is almost exactly like as if you're talking to a real friend so let's say you have a friend in here and you're asking how to do something and that person will be like okay go ahead and click on that option click this one drag in here drop this effect in here that's exactly how Google Gemini AI uh, is having conversation with you and also teaches you something and now without wasting further ado let's jump straight in all right, so this right here is Gemini Live and the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and go ahead and log in with your Google account to this platform right here and it says aistudio.google.com slash live. Now if this is your first time, you'll have to go ahead and accept some terms and conditions and stuff like that and once you accept all of that, this is going to be the screen that you'll see. And now the whole point of using Google Gemini Live is that you can go ahead and start sharing your camera, the screen and audio and it will literally have everything happening within your computer screen and it can guide you for any questions that you ask. For example, let's say I have a doubt about Excel or using Google Docs or Premiere Pro or any software. The AI will have everything in the screen in the context and it will guide me to let's say do whatever stuff that I want to. And the first thing obviously you'll have to log into the Google AI uh, Studio using your Google account and make sure you have enabled this option right here. And the most important thing is that you have to put the output format as audio. So in some cases it will be set as text. So you have to change it as audio. And if you want to, you can also go ahead and change the voice. Okay. So the AI will be literally talking to you. So if you want to, you can go ahead and change that as well. And now let me put my computer in full screen. So I'll go ahead and click on this share your screen option and select this screen right here. And this is where I'll be opening all the applications for demo purpose and watch from here on. Okay. So I'll click on share your screen. Entire screen, screen to share. Okay, you want to share your entire screen. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hi Gemini, I'm working on a project on uh, Premiere Pro where I want to replace the background of a video. So as you can see, this video has a green screen background and now I want to change this background. I mean, I want to remove this green color exactly. I see you're working on a project in Premiere Pro and want to remove the green screen background from a video. Is there anything specific I can help with in this process? Can you tell me how to change or remove the back, uh, green background from this video? Sure, to remove the green screen background in Premiere Pro, you can use the ultra key effect. Would okay. you like me to explain how to apply it? Yes, please. Okay, first, navigate to the effects panel and search for ultra key. Then, drag and drop the ultra key effect onto your video. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Next, I'll... the effect ultra key so ultra key option underneath keying effect is it yes that's right okay now, i dropped the ultra key effect onto the video clip in your timeline okay what's next okay what should i do i dragged and dropped the ultra key effect to the video next in the effect controls panel click on the eyedropper tool next to the key color option and then click on the green background in your video preview is there anything else Okay, got it. The green color is gone, but I guess it's not 100% accurate. I can still see some traces of, you know, imperfections in the scene. How can I fix that? Okay, it's common to have some imperfections. Yes, please. Okay, under matte cleanup, try increasing the choke setting to tighten the edges and remove any stray pixels around your subject. Then adjust softness to smooth out the edges and fine tune contrast for a cleaner mat. 
Under spill suppression, you can increase despill to reduce any color bleeding from the green screen. Do you have more questions? No, thank you. I'm good. Great. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, Gemini, I have one more doubt. So I want to change the wallpaper on my Mac computer. So how do I proceed and how can I change the wallpaper? Sure. To change the wallpaper on your Mac, you'll need to go to System Settings, then Find and Select Wallpaper. From there, you can choose from the available options. Would you like more detailed steps? Or maybe let's say I want to adjust how long my display stays active when inactive or let's say turned on. So I want to increase that to let's say 45 minutes or even more. So what settings should I change and where can I find it? Okay, you want to adjust how long your display stays active before turning off. To do that, you'll want to go into system settings and select lock screen. There you will find options okay. to adjust well, the display. Well, where can I find this lock screen option though? Got it. To find the lock screen settings, you'll need to go to the lock screen menu within system settings. Is there anything else? Okay, I found the lock screen option. What next? Great. Now that you're in the lock screen settings, you should see an option that says turn display off on battery when inactive or something similar. Okay, I found that. Next to it. Okay, I can find a couple of options. So yeah, I got it. And what does this start screen saver when inactive option mean to the top? right here in the lock screen settings and currently it is set to never. Right, the start screen saver when inactive setting controls how long your computer waits before activating the screen saver and is currently set to never. Is there anything else? Hey Gemini, so I have a resume template opened up in Google Docs and now I want to know how can I export this as PDF. So I want to download it as PDF file to my computer so that I can go ahead and share it with others. Okay, you have a resume template in Google Docs and want to download it as a PDF. Yeah, exactly. To do that, you'll first... Yeah, please continue. Okay to, download your... okay, to download your resume as a PDF, click File in the top left corner, then oh. select Download and choose PDF document from the options. Is there anything else I can assist with? Okay, got it. Great, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, let's say I want to know how many words and characters are there in this particular document right here. So how can I find it? Is there any option within Google Docs that lets me know the word count and character count? You would like to know how many characters and words are in the document. Exactly. Additionally, you're asking... Yes. Google Docs does have a feature for that. You can find the word and character count by going to tools in the menu and then selecting word count. Okay, got it. Okay, I can see the word and character count here. Thank you. So as you saw, Gemini Live literally had access to all the content within my computer screen and it directed me or give me instructions for all the questions that I ask. So I went ahead and asked how to do things on Premiere Pro software exactly to remove the background of a video and it guided me and I was able to successfully remove it and also fine tune it. And next up, I also managed to change a couple of settings like system settings with my Mac and also the AI helped me to do a couple of stuff within Google Docs as well. And the cool thing about Google Gemini Live is that it literally works with any software, website or application without any problem. And in fact, the Google Gemini mobile app version is also live where you can access the Google Gemini Live and it literally have access to your back camera so that you can go ahead and point it to anything and start asking a question. And it almost feels like you're talking to a real friend and you know having book back and forth communication and it's also almost instantaneous is what i would say so the delay in this case will be hardly maximum one second i guess it's not even one second to be honest right so that's for google stream real time or google gemini live so next time onwards if you have any questions or if you don't know how to do something instead of going to youtube and searching for tutorials or you know watching a one hour long video you could straight away go ahead and start using google stream real time or gemini live and there you have it. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.